Okay, here we are at the rear of the VAC truck. There's a number of moving parts at the rear of the truck, hence a lot of bearings that need to be greased on a regular basis. I'll just point out one here. We've opted to go with a Makita uh, 18 volt cordless grease gun. Just onto the nipple there. And then till you see some grease coming out through the other side of the bearing there. So on the back door clamp here, we've got five grease nipples here. There's four door clamps either side. On the cylinder for the door clamp also, another grease nipple in there. Another one at the top. Then you've got your door lifting cylinder. There's a grease nipple up the top there as well. We look under here at the main pivot pin of the tank. There's also a grease nipple in there. And we can go onto the other side and have a look. Again, we've got the five grease nipples here, one on the cylinder, another one up here on the top door clamp, and then the lift cylinder up there, there's also a grease nipple. So at the rear of the truck, there's quite a lot of moving parts, therefore there are bearings that require grease. Uh, we suggest it's something that you monitor on a daily basis. If you can't visually see any signs of grease, it's certainly well worth the exercise of getting out your grease gun and just giving it a little nip up until you see some grease coming out of the bearing. So you can see some visual signs of the grease there.